All right, guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Um, this is our family truckster, the LX family truckster. I've been working on uh, detailing this vehicle. It has PPF here that I had to remove paint protection film. And um, I'm, uh, I'm planning on sealing it with ceramic coating. But to do that, I have to prepare the surface. Fortunately, it's white, but it still shows a lot of issues. One is oxidation or paint fallout or contamination. So uh, I used Iron X the other day. I washed it. Uh, it works great. However, there's still remnants of iron deposits, oxidation, fallout, etc., contamination. I need to clean. So it leads me to the question: What do I do to clean out the rest of it? Um, clay bars. So I have two kind of bars. This is called a synthetic clay. This is actually the old school clay bar. Uh, the old school clay bar. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, they've been out for decades. This will grab whatever contamination you have left. But there are issues with that. Several issues that if you drop it, you need to throw it away. So make sure you take the clay in smaller chunks when you work on it. And that way if you drop it, you can toss it. Because as soon as it's dropped on the ground, you're going to make it like sandpaper and you can't use it again. However, with the synthetic clay, they call it, substitute by, this is by Griot's Garage, by the way. I, I'll give you a link in, in the Amazon for both. But anyways, uh, this is synthetic, they call it synthetic clay. So you can see here, it's not really a clay, it's uh, a type of rubber, I guess you want to call it. But that's supposed to help be a substitute for it. The advantage of this, it drops, you rinse it off, go back to work. So that's one advantage and disadvantage of the clay. Another advantage and disadvantage is that with the clay, you're going to have to use your fingers more um, good and bad. So you're going to have to flatten a piece like this. And you're gonna have that motion like this and so there's a lot of finger work that you'll have to put finger pressure hand pressures and if you have bad joints or tired hands or weak fingers uh, i get sore actually um, this can get painful later on when you're working on the car or even later when you're resting this one you can see it has a groove in here so it gives you that position and it's able for me to apply more pressure here so I can push down and also grab more comfortably. As you can see, I can kind of claw it um, without really putting that much pressure and all the pressure will be from my palm versus my fingertips. So that's another advantage of the Griot synthetic clay. For me, the advantage of the clay, you can see this is a used piece of clay, is that when you're rubbing the contaminant, you can see what you're picking up. So it's nice and yellow on this one, there's other colors. You start seeing that you're picking up stuff. This one, you won't be able to see. You'll have to look at the paint and look at it. So you can't validate that it's working without you looking at the paint, which is fine, but is this another FOI? It could slow you down. down. Um, advantage of this one though. So you're gonna use a car wash liquid solution. You're gonna use a detail solution, some kind of lubricant that goes on top of it. You're not gonna put either of these on dry paint. It has to be lubricated on some kind of surface, wet surface. You generally wanna use this car wash mix, detailer. Uh, there's actually spray clays for that uh, because it needs that lubrication or it'll just stick, you know, just be squeaky like a sneaker. So either of them do need that. However, if you were to use a car wash solution, this is also a sponge. So you can get this, soak this in water, get it, get your area wet, flip it around, start the clay. So advantages and disadvantages, I'm gonna test it out real quick. It's gonna be really hard to see in here. I hope you can, if not, just trust me guys, cause I'm a professional. Well, not really, but <laughs> I'm a DIYer. I look for the most convenient thing to do and hopefully this will work, so. All right guys, we're back. And um, I just have a bottle of um, quick detailer that I created or actually a conglomeration of a car wash material or car wash uh, solution plus water so um, I'll put some links of what they suggest but uh, any kind of solution that you want again for lubricant is what you need as long as it doesn't do any uh, uh, marring or eats up the paint because you need to have the time I'm trying to zoom into some spots it's hard to see I apologize wow it's so bright I can't see Generally you want to do it in the shade. I don't have shade, but the surface is still cool. 
to the touch so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and go for it um i'm gonna use the clay um this clay so you can see what i pick up as far as contamination i think it'll be a little easier i'm gonna start from a corner so that way i know that i remember where i'm going so this right here and then i'm just gonna start getting in the I'm a circular motion kind of guy, but it's definitely doing something. This is so bright, I apologize, but if you look up close, I don't even get a better camera. It's definitely getting it. You generally, um, some people have used a, a glove, um, like a plastic glove and you can feel the difference usually two and you can hear a squeaky or you can feel the difference if it's smooth or not so I went over lightly luckily the iron X made a big difference yesterday you can see here it was um, let's see if we get closer you can see the specs this was a lot cleaner or a lot more uh, yellow without the specs so it's picked up a lot of contaminants uh, the reddish is usually iron so um, definitely makes a difference on the clay. I'll wipe this down. It feels a lot smoother, way smoother. Yeah, it sounds creepy. But anyways. Okay, so let's see if I can find a little bit bumpier. So this is still bumpy right here. Oops. So we'll move it a little bit along here because we know we're picking up contaminants. This is still bumpy. I can feel it. You can totally feel it. Um, you know, I'm sensing the fingers, like I said, it's a piece of plastic to do it. Now, it's going to be harder to show you with this uh, synthetic clay one, but it should work about the same. But you can see it's easier on my hands. And it still conforms because it's still a sponge, so this edge will come down. There's a spot here, that's actually a paint chip, okay. So, so again, you can't see, you're picking up anything because it's black. And when we wipe it down, still feels good. So, um, feels good still. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna knead it a little bit. So, uh, looks pretty clean, right? So let's go ahead and see if it missed anything. Okay. So it did pick up a little things, I think. I can see right there. See? Little speck, I'm pretty sure that's what I picked up extra. All right, so I'm done uh, cleaning it. I actually did a combination of it because I like to use this to get there quicker, uh, better reach because I could get out there and my arm extended and get to, to the spot on the clay. It's a little bit harder because I'm using my fingers, but when there was some uh, oxidation or when there was some fallout that I couldn't get with this, I could still see it on the white paint, which is easier. I went ahead and used this and it made a big difference. However, one thing I forgot to mention is that this here says it can last eight times longer than this. So cost wise, kind of close in cost. You're going to get more of this. And again, you have to toss this more because it's going to be used and also drop. So, so I'm going to continue to clay the truck because the next thing I got to do is do paint correction um, over here because of the PPF. It's caused a line. I'm going to try to buff this out. I want to clear out the uh, contamination first and then start working on that. Please like and share to anybody you think needs to view this. And also subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that way you know when the next video comes in. I want to say thanks for coming to the channel and peace out.